Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to add dynamic weather effects into your landscape using Ultra Dynamic Sky. So let's get started. Here we have a simple landscape creator using the open land landscape material. And as well as we have downloaded the latest version of Ultra Dynamic Sky and the open land. So that's all we need so we can get started. I want to mention most of the things I'm going to show you is coming from the Ultra Dynamic Sky. We may be a little bit simple to use it open land, but this works with any sort of landscape material. First, I have to delete all the lighting in my scene. So that should be directional light, height fog, at sun, sky atmosphere, skylight, and you have to delete everything. So I'm going to select those from the world outline and I'm going to hit delete. So now my scene should be dark like this. Then I'm going to open Ultra Dynamic Sky from the content directory and go to the blueprints and here we have something called ultra dynamic sky blueprint just drag this into the scene all right now you can see it adds some lighting clouds and everything you can go to the details panel and control all these things but i'm not going to do right now because we need to work on the weather system now i'm going to drag the ultra dynamic weather into my scene all right as soon as i drag that into my scene you can see some uh, framing effects happening here all right i can control that by going to the details panel of ultra dynamic sky from the world outline go to details panel you have a set of presets and after that you can configure so i'm gonna go to thunderstorm so i'm gonna play now as i move here and there i can see rain particles but i cannot see anything happening into my landscape but that expected we're going to do that right now so uh, select your landscape and search for dynamic then I need to select this checkbox called Use Dynamic Material Instance. The reason is Ultra Dynamic Sky trying to update something to my landscape material. So in order to do that, we have to enable this. Then I uh, go to the Ultra Dynamic Weather actor on my world outline. And from the details panel, search for Landscape. So here we have a checkbox called Enable Dynamic uh, Landscape Weather Effects. This you have to do that. And then we have to select the landscape actors. So yeah, I have only one. I'm going to select my landscape actor. All right. Then I'm going to save like this. Now I need to add uh, something into my material, landscape material. So we are going to do that right now. Then open your landscape material. In this case, that's open land. So now we have the material instance here. So I'm going to scroll and I'm going to open my master material. Here we have open land. In open land, we have a new material function called open land ultra dynamic with the support U D W support so i'm going to select that so basically you have to put this at the end after the global overrides like this but just before the rpt right i'm going to save that and if you go inside this is not anything magic but basically we are calling uh, the material function provided by ultra dynamic weather so that's it and we have made some parameters and just optional to use all right then i'm going to save it then it will start compiling, but it should be quick. Now you can see we have some puddles in my landscape. That's pretty cool. Let's try to play that. I can see the interactions inside puddles, but I think uh, we need to increase the puddle coverage. That's totally possible. Go to the uh, ultra dynamic weather actor in your world outline and search for puddles. And here we have something called puddle coverage. You can increase that like this. Now we can see there are some ripples on the puddles as the rain hits them but there are no interaction when the player is walking on top of the puddles so it's like he's walking on glass but there's a way to fix that in order to do that you need to open your player character character blueprint actually so here we use the default third person template and it's basically it's on the content directory contain third person blueprint blueprints and open my character then I need to go to the viewport. Then I need to add some components to both of my foods. Then they can talk to the landscape and do all the interactions. That component is a little bit weirdly named, but you can go to the Ultra Dynamic Sky folder, go to Blueprints, and here we have a folder called Weather Effects. And the, the component name is DLWE underscore interaction. So you need to get this component and put it to these food bonds. So I'm, I'm going to do that right now. I'll add component from here and this will be DLWE, this one. I'm going to make it for the right foot and I'm going to add another one for the left foot. 
there should be a parent of the mesh like this so make sure you you have that and select one of these components go to the parent sockets from the details panel and hit this search icon and search for foot right so then it will attach to my right foot with this recommended like put this in the middle of the foot uh, in, the, in the center of mask but you can only, always play with these uh, settings and try to see what's working for you and of, of course you can change the full size from here and here we have the puddle sound uh, snow sound and other thing i think I'll, i like to increase both these sounds a little bit higher so i'm going to do the same thing for my other component as well all right now we have done that i'm going to compile and save my character and that's all you have to do so now let's start now we can clearly see the interaction inside puddles as the character moves here and there. We can even see some splash particle effects when the user hits the puddle. And now let's try to do this with the snow as well. Select the weather actor and from the preset you can select the snow. Now you can see as the player moves and there are some trails behind him. And that's exactly what we need. If you look at carefully, these are just normal maps. But if you enable tessellation, you will get displacement as well. And this is really good. But right now, there's only a single weather selection here. But it could be nice if I have some sort of volumes and control using that. And we have something like this. Go to the Ultra Dynamic Sky, Blueprint Directory, and there's a folder called Weather Effects. And now you have the weather override volume. So right now we have clear sky. Now we have a mega scan rock over here. I'm going to add a volume close to here. I think it should be pretty big, I guess. All right, let's, uh, let's reduce the size. All right, I think this is fine. So in this area, in this volume, it should be raining. So I can select from here, should be a thunderstorm in this area. Then I can add an another volume. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this one. And I also scale like this, so we have the this thunderstorm uh, here, and also here we have another volume. And I think here I'm going to do some sort of snow. All right, like this. Now let's uh, go somewhere near my rock. Let's go outside in some place like this. I'm gonna start playing. Now you can see we start with a clear sky, and then we are in, inside the rain, and we have puddles, and we have all the effects then when we move to the beach now we can see we have snow i know this is something unnatural but you get the idea of how this works all right that's it for today see you soon with something interesting bye